when I think about, oh, you know, the FDA and this is the imprimatur of the, if this is FDA approved to treat, you know, it, it, it carries like a certain weight. You sort of think, okay, it's, you know, it's safe and it's effective. But the truth is that the bar for getting something FDA approved is really no more than saying it works a little bit better than nothing. You know, and if we actually said to patients, you know, this is an FDA approved dr drug for anxiety, and that means it really works a little bit better than nothing. Do you still want to take it? I think a lot of patients would be like, no thanks. You know, I think I'll try something else. Um, it's, it's really a very complex, inefficient, and not very good process uh, that the FDA has for approving drugs. And pharma has a, an enormous influence in even how those trials are conducted. So for example, um, when it comes to opioids, and that's what I can speak to, you know, more eloquently, when they were redevising, when, when they were kind of refining um, how opioid trials should be run, um, pharma had a seat at that table, right? They paid an enormous amount of money to attend this conference where thought leaders in pain were going to be there, and they were able to kind of structure uh, the approval process so that it would actually be easier to get these drugs approved. Um, they used a, a method called enriched enrollment. You probably don't want me to go into it. But the bottom line is it's important for people to recognize that when they're taking a so-called FDA-approved drug, even though it's been a long and complex process to, to get the drug approved by the FDA, and even though it is more, um, you know, regulated in that sense, you know, hopefully safer than something that has not been FDA-approved, uh, the bar is very low, and that just means that it's a little bit better than placebo. The whole FDA approval process really encourages these short-term studies because long-term studies um, are harder to do; they're they're more expensive. And we're when we're, 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 I'm sorry, when we're talking long-term, we're really talking a year. You know, it would be very nice to have a year at least of how people do on these medications, especially since they tend to be on them for years. But in fact, the FDA approval process typically requires about 12 or at most 16 weeks. And the reason for that is that longer studies are more expensive. But the other reason is that the longer you take a study out, the more likely you are to see people not doing well on that drug, right? Or developing side effects from that drug. So the pharmaceutical industry doesn't favor long-term studies for monetary reasons and for outcome reasons. They, they don't want to show that their drug actually doesn't do well when you take it out to a year. Mm -hmm.